Fox, our next guests are here to bring us some exclusive news. Want to bring in billionaire hedge fund titan Mark Lazary, Avenue Capital Group's co-founder and CEO uh, and chairman, and uh, Carlos Watson, Ozzy Media's CEO. Want to thank both of you for joining us. Uh, you do have a bit of news uh, to bring us, and then I want to get into all sorts of other issues with you. Uh, but um, Carlos, I should probably let you take it away in terms of what the news is, uh, given that. Um, you run the company, but uh, in a way, Mark is about to become at least one of your bosses. Uh, uh, always has been, always will be. Hey, Andrew, good to be with you. First of all, good morning. Um, uh, I think when I last saw you, we were talking a little bit about the fact that Ozzy had turned profitable last year, really enormous growth across the entire spectrum, TV shows, podcasts, digital, and coming up live events. And I'm really pleased to announce this morning that Mark Lazary has joined us as a, the chairman of our board um, we've had so much good growth, but my hope is that with Mark coming aboard, it'll just be the beginning. And you obviously saw what he did for the Bucks. So uh, while I'm not as tall as Giannis, I'm hoping um, I'm hoping that we'll have some good news as well. So, Mark, what's what's the plan here? When you when you think about the future of Ozzy, when you think about the future of of media companies, um, you know, uh, Reese Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine uh, just did a big deal with uh, the Blackstone Group. What's what's the long term play here? Look, I think part of it, and again, it's great to see you. Um, look, I think for us, Aussie Media is a pretty unique company. I joined the board a number of years ago, um, and it's just literally revenue has kept on doubling um, every year for the last three years. I, I think part of that is because there seems to be this huge interest. It's a pretty unique company. I think Carlos um, has been doing a phenomenal job. One of the things I've sort of found is you want to end up supporting people who you think are pretty unique and different. Carlos is that. I think Ozzy is that. Um, so that's why I've gotten uh, more involved. But I think what you're going to do is you're just going to be hearing more and more about Ozzy over the next couple of years. Carlos, in terms of in terms of the way this media business is is, is going, you obviously have the newsletter business. You have your own your own show. You're developing more shows. You're, you've got a drama Coming out, I, I mentioned Reese Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine and the big premium that went for that business. Long term, do you think that there's a, a consolidation play or do you want to remain an independent company? Um, you know, Andrew, I'd love it if we remained an independent company and became one of the three or four most special media companies in the world. Uh, as you mentioned, whether it's Reese Witherspoon's uh, good news there or what happened with Politico and Axel Springer, there certainly is a fresher sense about the new media space than we've seen in a couple of years. And I think part of that represents the uh, generational shift, not just the move to millennials, but maybe even more importantly, the move towards Gen Z and the different kinds of content they're consuming, the different ways they're consuming content. And I think one of the important things in this moment, and if Ozzy is getting something right, it's our willingness to meet customers where they are. And so not only giving them podcasts or only giving them streaming video, but saying that we realize that curious Gen Zers or curious millennials want to be able to enjoy content in any of a number of ways. They want premium content to be sure, but they want a lot of flexibility, and I think we're doing that well.